Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise and take a call on this debate. Um, and I speak as Deputy Leader of the ACT Party. The um, ACT Party will be um, supporting the taxation, annual rates, Trans-Tasman Savings Portability, KiwiSaver and Remedial uh, Matters Bill. Sir, so the, um, the last comments we heard from the Labor Speaker were what? Astonished or, uh, uh, you're astonished and disgusted. Astonished and disgusted that the government increased GST. Well, sir, he said he would not and he did. He said he would not and he did. So Mr Nash is astonished and disgusted that GST has rised or has increased. Well, Mr Speaker, I have to laugh. I have to absolutely laugh whenever I hear the Labor Party talking about electricity costs and electricity rises and people struggling. Because every single member of the Labor Party knows that had they been re-elected at the last election, we would have had Labor's emissions trading scheme and electricity prices will have risen by 10%. Yes. And, and what, do we, what do we have from Ruth Dyson? She says, not that again. Well, let me remind Ruth Dyson and let me remind every single member of the Labor Party and I will continue to remind every single member of the Labor Party and I'll continue to remind every New Zealander what the Labor Party was doing or did prior to the last election is they passed an emissions trading scheme, Mr Order. Speaker. Order. <clears throat> I um, mentioned in a previous intervention that one can only in a third reading speech refer to what is actually in the bill. And I remind members, speaking, speaking, uh, speaker's rulings 117.4, and I'll quote so it's very clear about what I said earlier. On a third reading of a bill, a member cannot discuss any matter not included in the clauses of the bill. Two, a clause that was ruled out of order by the Speaker. The merits of an amendment proposed by a member and ruled out of order in the committee, and that was the case with Mr Nash. So uh, I bring the member back to the substance and purpose of the bill, which is very clear and material, and passing can be mentioned, but it cannot form the substantive part of the debate. The Honourable John Biscoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I wasn't intending my debate, my, rather my call, to be a long one, but um, I would draw your attention to pages 10 and 11 of the bill, which sets out the number of changes that were being made to the emissions trading scheme actually in this bill, Mr Speaker. And my understanding is those provisions still apply. But, sir, the point I wanted to make was I hear the debate from the Labor Party talking about people struggling under rising electricity prices, Mr Speaker, and no one in this House, no New Zealander, should be in any doubt whatsoever that if the emissions trading scheme had not been amended, rather than a 5 per cent increase in electricity prices, we would have had a 10 per cent. And that is a fact. The real issue, Mr Speaker, is why electricity prices are rising at all. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Okay, the... Good, Mr Speaker. I call you uh, Honey Harawera. Just a short call, Mr Speaker.